Hey, I'm Laura Whitmore, and I'm just back from visiting teenagers in Nepal who are rebuilding their lives after the earthquake. They're bringing change to their communities, even though they still have no homes to live in. You can hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. In this tiny village in the clouds, I met 15-year-old Sushan next to the temporary classrooms they've been using since the earthquake flattened their school. Why do you think education is so important? I hear when you're older, you know what job you'd like to do. Sushan's hopes for the future were on my mind when I met a group of girls in a Kathmandu slum. These girls belong to Shakti Samuhi, a group that teaches girls how to protect themselves from exploitation and trafficking, a huge problem in Nepal. Meeting 16-year-old Kopila made a big impact on me. Kopila wants to be a doctor. It broke my heart to hear Kapila say she probably won't achieve her dream because of where she comes from. I'm not crying for you only. You're crying for everyone? Yes. yes. Everywhere I went, I met children who were passionate about the changes they want to see in Nepal. What I learned is that there are many different ways education can help children to cope and survive after a disaster. If we ensure children reach their potential, they will contribute to their communities and to the world in a way that benefits all of us. Education is just as important as food, water and medicine. Good morning.